Now I did say I was only going to do audio videos from now on, but I decided to take one last video shot. Because a new story has just broken that fills me with joy. And it fills me with joy for one solitary reason. Brian Gerwitz has been removed from the WWE creative position of the head writer of Raw after 10 years in the job. Now, Vince McMahon had this quote to say. He said this to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. If you haven't heard of it, it's one of the most respected, if not the most respected piece of wrestling journalism in this planet and this sole being of a world we live in. He said, I want results or I want resignations. And you can see just where that has gone. You see, since WWF became WWE, since Monday Night Raw became a 10-year ten, ten long-running show, a 1,000-episode juggernaut, ever since he, Brian Gerwitz, got hold of this show, we have seen some incredible highs. We have seen people on Raw become champions who we never thought would be champions. We have seen the arrival of brilliant matches. We have seen some fantastic moments. But we also have seen some abominable ones. Ones that we never thought could ever, ever be considered palatable by us as fans. And that is something that you have to look in the broader perspective. Brian Gerwitz, how he kept his job for as long as he did, I have no clue. Because after the Benoit tragedy, he should have been looking at the content, the scrutiny. He should have seen, okay, we may have to change something. Obviously, they didn't. To be honest, they doled a few elements down, but kept it relatively the same. It's basically like removing a major, a, a not non-significant ingredient from a bar of chocolate or some ketchup. You won't notice it, but it's gone nonetheless. It's just the same old shit. And you see, once the PG stranglehold got on top of him, and most of the other writers who were drafted in, including Ranjan Singh, the former manager of the Great Carly. All those guys, including, I would also put out, Freddie Prince Jr., the star of Scooby-Doo movies. I mean, the fact is, even with those knuckleheads, he should have realized something. But this is a volatile position, because you can see where Raw has gone. In 2002... To now. Okay, usually I wouldn't be one to critique on where things have gone, because that's a very cynical way of putting things. But honestly, <laughs> honestly, this is where I often have to point the finger of blame and say, you could blame Vince McMahon for shit, because everything you put forward goes straight to Vince, and he will thumb it up and say, put it on air. You can link it back to Vince and say, He's the reason why Raw has gone downhill to the 2.5 rating that it ends up having last week. He has made shit decisions, you can say that. But it starts at one man. Brian frickin' Gerwitz. It all gets back to him. It doesn't... You can't blame Vince for something another man started. It's a chain reaction, I know. You get caught up in the explosion. It's... It's something you really don't want to be caught up in. Because as Raw has declined, we have seen ourselves as wrestling fans, as critics, as analysts, as reviewers, as fans in general, from the outside looking in, inside looking out, all that, been blaming the creative team for everything. But we often always blame Vince. We blame Linda. We blame the advertisers. We blame the USA Network. We blame the, the Cancer Trust that WWE is sponsoring. We blame everything, bar the guy at the top of the creative team, because we often forget who the guy is. And that's the big point. We forget the guy who starts it all. We forget the guy who Dave Langana said 
stole other creative team members' ideas, passed them off as his own so he can get a be better sitting in the company. We forgot about the guy who basically put the notion for this shit down on paper, gave it to a guy like McMahon who was shit at booking in the first place, and they ran with it. You see, we shouldn't be upset that this man has lost his job. In fact, on Facebook, I've already seen people happy, saying, fuck yeah, they're doing the right things. Vince has woken up. He may be nearly 70, but he's actually realising, at this moment in time, after last week, that set off a little spark. That was the piece of flint going against the wood that showed him we need change. Because in the current direction, we're going nowhere. He will probably fire AJ as GM tonight. He and his state of the WWE address that he'll do to probably give back ratings. He'll probably announce cutting of Raw back to two hours because it's not financially viable. He will probably set up big matches for Hell in a Cell because he's got the power. He will do everything to get us interested, to make us feel that this is a new dawn. We've been through the shit. We've been through ten years of good to meh to shit raw writing. We have seen the downfall of a Monday night fixture to something in a low it's never been before. Well, since, since before 1997 at least. We we're in a position now where this is a good thing. Brian Gerowitz's departure is something great, refreshing. It is something that we can celebrate. Because with this one instant, all of the weaker members of the WWE backroom staff, wrestlers, trainers, creative team members, media practitioners, advertisers, marketing executives, they will, they, they will be on notice. They will be on notice because if Gerwitz gets the chop, if the head writer of your main show gets the chop, then nobody, nobody under the setting sun, bar McMahon and his distinct family, and some of the bigger drawers, they are safe. Everyone apart from them is on notice. You fuck things up, it's noose around their neck. Your career in the world wrestling entertainment could be gone at the snap of a finger. And that is the culture WWE should have put the brakes on and put, well, not brakes, they should have put the brakes on the shit years ago and stuck the pedal to the metal and done something about it. They should have done that. They did that with the wellness policy when the Benoit tragedy and the Eddie Guerrero death happened. They said, we're not going to do any of this. We're not going to see medical issues with our talent be un unforeseen. Therefore, we have a wellness policy. Now, McMahon is realising his company isn't doing very well. Fans are turning back on it. And we are not taking the product as we used to. Obviously, as we've grown older, it's become a huge issue. But, in all fairness, really, I have to put this forward. This is a step in a direction I never thought I'd see Vince McMahon go down. He has woken something inside of him, that, that fire that he has needed to show why he can stay with the company for a bit longer. Because if he's doing this, there is a bit of hope for the WWE's future yet. There is a hope that this darkness will be gone for at least a little while. We can look forward to Raw in half an hour's time as of this moment, which I won't be watching because I'm off to bed. and I've got a 11 o'clock lecture in the morning. You see, we can all hope that WWE will be able to pick itself up and throw everything in the wind and say, we're following whichever direction this idea goes. But you know what? This is a good thing. And I hope everyone else out there understands that this is the case. This is the epitome of where we're at. Change is happening. 
Sure, it's not the change that CM Punk told us about in his pipe bomb, but it's something which could actually lead to something, because if McMahon is instigating that change, we had better hope it takes us somewhere, or we, as fans of the WWE, the loyal fan base, the the flaking fan base that has been the dandruff, slowly peeling away from the aspects of wrestling's biggest juggernaut, we better hope that this turns out well. Otherwise we all could be waving goodbye. And that is something I and many others do not want to have on their minds. And guys, that's this little impromptu midnight rant for you. Because the story warranted such a very brooding, dark and intense one from me. Now this is the kind of thing you're going to get from me. I will try and make it more serious. I will try and adopt intensity to my voice to make sure that my videos become a lot more serious because it's tackling issues in wrestling which, to be honest, are serious. Most issues I talk about are, and this is an example of what would happen. Just, there's going to be a picture on the screen, enough said. So what do you think? Like button? Comment section? What are your thoughts on Brian Gerwitz's firing here? Well, firing from the position of head writer of Raw, at least. Want to subscribe up there? More is coming. I've got a video, on, uh, an audio, I should say, on the decline of American wrestling in general sometime this week. And that should be something, and this should be something here, to tide you over until then, because gotta keep you, gotta keep your whistles wet for a little longer until things start having a more active schedule. Got that? Guys, I've been Cream Crazy. You've been people watching. This has been Brian, Breaking News, Brian Gowitz Fired. And I will see you next time, voice only, ready to shake the core of the YouTube wrestling world. Cheers.